That an octopus, an octopus is just a wet spider, and no one has re really ever been in an empty room because as soon as you walk into it, it has you in it, so it's no longer empty. And maybe aliens don't come to Earth because aging is a disease, and Earth is a quarantine planet. This is why I'm not an honors. <laughs> Do you know a race just slowly sacrificed their life for our mistakes? Oh, I'm so I'm so scared on how much free time you guys have. Just to think about this stuff. <laughs> it's actually kind of horrifying. Yeah. Shout out to Titus. No, it's called Please give me some of these. Titus, thank you, my guy. This is true, but randomly hearing your song on the radio is way more satisfying than like playing it from Spotify. Yeah. Say you. That's actually really true. Yeah. I hear my favorite song on the radio and be like, oh, it's that song. Yeah, and then you get your name on your birthday. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay, well, this is the Live and Five Show. I'm Maya, and I'm Sean. For all you football fans, there's another addition to the classic football video game. We'll get it later today. Do you not want to use the keyboard on your laptop? Do you just need to be extra? Well, wait no longer because we have a wireless keyboard perfect for any laptop. Even one with a built-in keyboard. Coming into today's Hot Topics. With coronavirus spreading, will this killer disease reach its peak soon? Find out more in news. Surprisingly, we've got someone from our own show who actually has their own band. And we'll get to them in NYK. Last weekend, the Oscars took place at the Dolby Theater in Los Angeles. Tune in to You Heard It here for a recap of this famous award ceremony. Hear about Zion Williamson and more to come on sports. We've got all this and more right after the break. Celebrating Black History. And we're back. Now it's time to check out what's going on around campus. Today, the girls' basketball and boys' soccer teams will be playing their first games of the season. The game will be against Carmelita at Carmelita after school. Again, the first game for girls' basketball and boys' soccer are today. Next month's Monday, there's again no school due to the celebration of President's Day. Again, there's no school next Monday. Next Thursday, 7th graders will be going to see the musical Ragtime a musical theater west. Keep in mind, this play has some language that was appropriate for its time. But nowadays, the language is considered offensive. Again, this is a trip just for the 7th graders that will be held next Thursday. 
And that wraps it up for the Tetzel Off play-by-play. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back before Tetzel Off beats Carmen Rita in any sport. Welcome back. Now let's check out today's hot topics. Do you want to actually play in the NFL? Well, Madden 20 is the perfect game for you. Madden 20 has a game mode where you can take your quarterback through college, the scouting combine, the draft, and even all the way to the NFL. The game also includes unique playbooks, on-field training, NFL Pro Bowl, the Superstar X Factor, and over 20 new touchdown celebrations. In Ultimate Teams, you can buy packs for different amounts of money. If you buy the Standard Edition for $60, you will receive five Gold Team Player Packs. Another edition of the game is the Superstar Edition, where you receive 12 Gold Team Player Packs and added benefits. However, the best version is the Ultimate Superstar Edition, which means you can get 15 gold packs. This awesome game is playable on the PS4, Xbox One, and Microsoft Windows. It costs $5 in the store and $30 for download. Are you, are you extra? Do you like to stand out? Are you tired of the keyboard that comes with your computer? Well, with the new fee, new type F1 wireless keyboard, it allows you to use it with any laptop. Because of its small size, you can put the keyboard in any backpack. Just take it out and amaze your friends. The F1 wireless keyboard is also designed to sit on top of a laptop keyboard. In addition, it can connect to phones and even iPads using Bluetooth. This am amazing wireless keyboard costs $150. Now it's time to get your weekly dose of Tetzloff in today's action reaction. It's Nathan from the Live 5 Show, and today we're going to ask people what the fourth digit of pi is. Alright, what's the fourth digit of pi? Huh? What is the fourth digit of pi? He's thinking. Mm. What is it you want, Barry? What do you want? You want the Four. Moon? Just say the word now. Crest. No, 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 no. Three. Oh! Yeah. That's the way for it. Wait, no, no, no. Four. Hey, what is the question? Three. Watch out, fool. Three. <laughs> one. No, it's 3.14. It's one. What's the fourth digit? Five, six, two, three, one, it's three. Uno. It's dos, uno. Tres, uno, dos. No, it's four. It's one. The fourth digit. Pi equals 3.14. How is it going to be one? This came to Jupiter. No All right, Aiden, what's the fourth digit of pi? What? What is the fourth digit of pi? I don't know. I have like an F minus in math. Okay, Jaden, what's the fourth digit of pi? Fourth digit of pi is, um... <laughs> five. No, nine. No, wait, no, five. Yeah, five. I think it's right. Um... Your mom... That's it for today's video. Tune in for... Tetzloff, California. Tune in next week for another wait, dose of Tetzloff. What is the fourth digit of pi? <laughs> Please help me, I need to find people. I don't know. <laughs> what is the fourth digit of pi? S one, seven. He already answered it. Yeah. What is the first digit? Nine, yeah. six, nine. What? No, it's actually one. See, I can list the, uh, guys, 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 I can list the uh, first um five numbers of pi. 3.1419, uh, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, yeah.
Welcome to You Here to Hear. I'm Riley. The 92nd Academy Awards took place last week and a lot happened. The Oscars kicked off on Sunday, February 9th with a traditional red carpet walk. Some of the featured celebrities were Brad Pitt, Billie Eilish, and Keanu Reeves. Next was a tribute to the deceased actors and actresses. Billie Eilish performed the song Yesterday, which was originally created by the famous band The Beatles. Then it moved on to the whole point of the Oscars, the winners. Well, there were many winners. We don't have, to, we don't have the time to mention all. But some of the big win winners included movies like Parasite and Ford vs. Ferrari. To add on, some of those who sang at this year's Oscars included Eminem, Elton John, and Idina Menzel, who is mostly known for playing the character Elsa from the, move, from the Frozen movie. Well, that's the recap. So let's toss it over to sports. <laughs> So, what NBA players do you guys think are performing the best right now? Uh, obviously LeBron. James. Yeah, that's obvious. Besides LeBron. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Yes. yes. Yeah. He's been doing that for like the last two years now. Like yeah. He's the most kind of like consistent player now. Yeah. So for NBA news, the Knicks have been listed as the highest value team in the NBA, according to Forbes. They are valued at $4.6 billion and have grown by 15% from the previous year. The Lakers and Golden State Warriors are also close in value, with the Lakers listed at $4.4 billion and the Warriors listed at $4.3 billion. On to more NBA news, the Clippers surprisingly lost the game, this time against the 76ers with a final score of 103 to 110. Along with this loss, the Clippers are now ranked third in the Western Conference. The rookie Zion Williamson has done it again. Now he's going straight crazy. Last night, he had 31 points, nine, nine rebounds, and five assists against the Trailblazers. For hockey news, yesterday there was a game against the Rangers and the Jets. The game had an unexpected turnout for most. According to points, the Jets would win, but failed to do so and lost one to four. That's all we have for sports. Now on to some world news. His death toll has gone past 1,100 and currently has over 45,000 infected, but signs that the outbreak may be peaking at the center of the crisis. Authorities in, Hub in the Hubel province, where the outbreak is thought to have originated, stated that an additional 1,638 confirmed cases of the virus on Wednesday morning. Though it's a small increase compared to other days, suggesting that the virus may be spreading at a steady rate and uncertainty about the efficiency of virus testing methods is arising. Hospitals in Wuhan and elsewhere in the Hubel province are overwhelmed and struggling to cope making it possible that some people with the virus aren't able to see a doctor for diagnosis. Scientists have estimated that the outbreak could peak in mid-February and that, though the virus was called a very grave threat, there is a realistic chance of stopping it. They are suspecting into the possibility of if the virus can also be spread through pipes due to a case where multiple people from the same building came down with the, di with the disease. Corona is having a massive effect on China currently with the people struggling to enter work again after the outbreak caused a massive shutdown for two weeks on the world's second largest economy. Worker shortages, transport disruption, and lack of medical supplies, transport disruption, they are all heavy-handed local officials are making it difficult for daily life and civilians. So the last time we talked about this, it was only in China, right? Yeah. Like we yeah. talked about this like, like a few in, in December. That was like cases a few. That was, yeah, yeah. Right around. And then now it's like it's here. Yeah, it's last time I heard about it, it was in Orange County already and like it can in LA. Spread throughout, like it can spread that throughout spread. buildings and about throughout like areas that we usually go to like. And parks. it's only been like two weeks since like the coronavirus like was a thing and it already spread from China to like LA and we're yeah. just like and then what? The very first American um died in China due to oh. coronavirus. Yeah. So I did go to LA last weekend and I was actually pretty scared that there was a coronavirus there. And, and it's the kind of scary because it can like, as I said, it was like, it could spread through pipes. So like yeah, if one person like, yeah. and especially with all the water that we use mm -hmm. yeah. Too, yeah, every single day, we to shower, to cook, 
to a drink. clean ourselves. Yeah. yeah, I think tap water. It it can spread throughout that too. And through so. touch as well, right? So yeah. it's like so basically. Yeah, you, you, that can happen. That's that's yeah. a fact. That can happen. That, that's scary. Well, now it's time to check out today's FYI. What year was the Southern Christian Leadership founded? 1945, 1954, 1970, or 1980? Take five. The Southern Christian Leadership was founded in 1957. And now it's time for Now You Know with Lorenzo. Hello, it's Lorenzo. Welcome back to another episode of Now You Know. Today we got Sean. What do you want to do here, Sean? So, what, what are you doing here? I'm just kidding. So, Sean, I heard you have a band. Yeah. And I've been heard about this. You play the violin, right? Um, in the band, I did play the violin, which was a weird... Um, hold on, let me... Wow, way to go, Sean. <laughs> Keep going, hurry up. I Back then, I used to play the violin in the band. And I thought it was pretty okay, but I wanted to switch instruments, so I instead now I play bass. bass. What is it with you and bass? bass I keep is going, a good look at Riley. Riley's disagreeing with you. <laughs> bass is a good. I'm confused here. So Sean's in a rock band, right? Oh, but rock and pop. Rock and pop band, right? There's the drums. We got the electric. We got the vocals. Hey guys, I have the violin. Oh no, not that anymore. seems out of place. Yeah, I know. It's but now you have that, the bass. That's, yeah. how, that's fine. Now I don't. Now I don't, That's why I didn't like the violin in the first place in the band because it just felt like I wasn't needed there. So I switched to bass because. So the bass. all you is like, oh, cool, like, oh look, there you are. Where are you in that video? Hey, look, it's me. Oh, that was unexpected. Where are you? I don't see you anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you are. I'm in the You're in the left. Wait, no, that's a girl. You're on the right. <laughs> no, I'm. You, you're jamming, man. You're vibing. Wait, why are you strumming with a bass? That's a violin. That's a violin. That's what. That my last performance was with. Oh no, my last performance was a Lunar New Year performance down in one of the um, areas down in Westminster, and I played the bass then. But this one was. Uh, Wait, when did you start reaction. playing bass for your band? Huh? Um, two months ago. Two months ago. Wow. And the uh, entire. And how long have you been in this band? This looks like. Um, like a. A year or an, a year and a half now. And do you like they, go around and like do performances? For yeah, you? we did it at House of Blues, the OC Fair. OC Fair. Uh, what else? House of Blues, OC Fair. We did a bunch of gigs at restaurants and all that stuff. So. Wow, you go to restaurants? Yeah. So Does anyone like support you? Is it like you have yeah, we have we have a bunch of like. You're sponsored by like Age Shadow Legends. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, we're, wow. We're, we're What's your band's by, name? Huh? Sean's band. Oh, Breaking <laughs> Curfew, <laughs> brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. That sounds awesome. Oh, Wait, no. Who's the vocals? Can you huh? can you name all your bands? So they be the vocals that? are Megan. Megan is vocal. Quick, Mindy is a guitar. Um, <laughs> Vivi is piano. Um, Kent is drums, and I am the bassist. Oh, well, thank you, Sean, for sharing us your lovely band. I'm pretty sure it's pretty good. And thank you for watching. If you'd like to show off your talent, go to live5show.com or just ask me. Otherwise, that's all for today's show, and we'll see you here tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.